There's a common misconception between poisonous and venomous. One is ingested and the other is injected. So, for example, if you eat something that makes you sick, it is considered poisonous. But if an animal, like a spider, delivers its toxins when it bites, then it's considered venomous. If possible, it is beneficial to try to capture the spider that has bitten you so they can determine the correct treatment. Also, since spiders are predators, please know that every single species you come across can bite. And you may have a slight allergic reaction to many of them which are not on this list. Today, I'm going to show you Florida's most dangerous spiders. Before we begin the video, please give it a like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Now, let's begin! Brown Recluse Spider Brown recluse spiders are different than widow spiders. They're one of the most venomous spiders in Florida and can leave a large scar after they bite. Brown recluse are a little smaller than black widows, but have the same body shape with an oval abdomen and smaller head thorax. They are uniform light brown in color without any markings on their back or with a faint violin-shaped marking. Brown recluse get their name recluse from hiding most of the time. They prefer to stay out of sight and will only bite if startled. They are only found in a few counties in Florida, including Jefferson, Alachua, Duval, Leon, and Bay Counties. Having an infestation of these spiders in your home can not only be a nuisance, but they can be deadly. Brown recluse spiders can be identified by a dark brown mark shaped like a violin on their backs. These venomous spiders range in color from tan to dark brown and vary in length from a quarter of an inch to a half inch. Since the violin is not always present, the best way to identify the recluse is by observing the eyes. Most spiders have eight eyes. Recluse spiders have six eyes arranged in pairs, found in sheds, garages, basements, and wood piles. Also, dressers, cardboard boxes, and behind baseboards and pictures. Females have compact bodies that are dark brown or black. Both are covered in fine hair, found in dark recesses of windowsills, shutters, overhangs, and other dark areas. The females stay close to their webs, and the males wander in search of prey and females. The Brown Widow The Brown Widow also had a distinct look with its abdomen and head thorax being browned with striped legs. The banding on the legs alternates between dark brown and light brown. It does have an hourglass shape on its back, but the hourglass is yellow or golden in color. They're about the same size as the Black Widow, with the females being around 1 cm long. In Florida, you'll find these in well-lit areas in the southeast. In areas with both species, researchers show that brown widows are outcompeting and potentially displacing Black Widows. And while brown widows have dangerous venom, it's less toxic than a black widow. In addition, they are timid and rarely bite. In the rare case that a bite does occur, the symptoms include high blood pressure, sweating, vomiting, respiratory muscle weakness, and possible seizure. Sometimes you can develop a very stiff abdomen that may mimic appendicitis. The worst pain is generally in the first 8 to 12 hours. The Red Widow You can easily tell a black widow from a red widow by their body color. Spiders have segmented bodies with two segments. Insects have three. They have the abdomen, called the opisthosoma, and the head thorax combo, called the cephalothorax. If you look at an insect, like an ant, they have three distinct segments, a head, thorax, and abdomen. For the red widow, the abdomen looks similar to the black widow. It is shiny black with red markings, but the markings are not in hourglass shape. It is more of a series of large red dots that have a yellow border. The head thorax of the Red Widow is all red, including the long skinny legs. These spiders can be found in central and southeast Florida. These venomous spiders can only be found in a small area in Florida. These habitat specialists typically live in dunes dominated by sand pines. Their webs are primarily built in palmetto bushes. Red Widows have toxic venom, just like the dreaded Black Widow. But fortunately for you, these venomous spiders are not aggressive and rarely bite. There is no record of one having ever harmed a person. And honestly, you will probably never come across one. Northern Black Widows Northern Black Widows look a lot like the southern ones, but the hourglass is more like two triangles, and there are a row of red dots on their backs as well. Most of them can be found in their preferred habitat on the edge of forests where they like to build their webs near the ground. 
In Florida, they can be found west of Tallahassee in the panhandle of the state. They can be found in residential areas as well. And the most common way people get bitten by widow spiders is by putting on a piece of clothing that hasn't been used in a while. So if you're pulling a pair of boots out from the back of your coat closet, be sure to check before sliding your foot in. Southern Black Widows Southern Black Widows are one of the most common venomous spiders in Florida. They're also the largest of the widows. These spiders have shiny black backs with a red hourglass marking the females, as the males are much smaller and brown. They have eight long black legs and are about one centimeter long. They make large webs where they like to hang out in the corner and wait for prey. Humans are not prey, but will sometimes be bitten if they accidentally startle one. Southern black widows are very venomous. They can be found throughout Florida and can be found by humans in backyard sheds, garages, wood piles, under old lawn chairs, and unused equipment like an old grill. Use caution when working in an area that has been undisturbed for a while and look for the spider webs. Wolf Spiders They are larger than many common house spiders and their legs are more spread out, which makes them faster. While these spiders aren't deadly to humans, if you get bitten, you could experience itching and swelling around the bite. Wolf spiders can grow up to two inches in length and typically live outdoors under ivy or the like. Males are dark gray or brown, and if they have an hourglass shape, it is yellow or white. Found in wood piles, stone walls, outdoor furniture or railings, also garages, sheds, barns, basements, and crawl spaces. Of course, we are sure you don't want to get too close to try and identify a spider. Black-footed yellow sack spider. Their bite begins with a bit of pain followed by itching and swelling. Symptoms from the bite typically are gone within seven to 10 days. On the bright side, yellow sack spiders rarely bite. The severity of a yellow sack bite is not nearly as bad as a black widow or brown recluse. A study of 20 confirmed yellow sack spider bites found that none resulted in necrosis or decaying of tissue due to cells dying. Instead, it seems like their bites cause swelling. These venomous spiders are most often found in Florida on the foliage of trees and shrubs but it's not out of the question to find one in your house or other manufactured structures. Honestly, it's pretty uncommon to actually see a yellow sack spider unless you're actively searching for one. The reason is that they are nocturnal and only come out at night to feed and mate. Hey, thank you for watching and please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and enable post alerts to view more of our future videos. After saying that, keep watching our videos and I'll speak with you in the next one.